Hello, my name is Glenn Dyer, and you are watching a dire situation. Today I'm seeing Daddy's home. Uh huh. Not many people are looking forward to this, and never am I, but mm, not to an enormous degree. I mean, I'm not to the degree of literally punching him. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, pu punching in a mark of, oh, where's the name? Punching in one of the actor's faces on a cardboard cutout. I'm not to that level. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think it's going to be good, but I don't, I'm not despising it. Although perhaps that's because I've been avoiding trailers recently, and I haven't seen their trailer in a while, so I can't get too mad at them right now, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. And I'm back. Well, uh, it's no sisters, that's for sure. Yeah, this, this, hmm, how do I explain this? So essentially, this movie's kind of an inverse, um, inverse buddy cop comedy. So instead of two people from opposite side of the tracks who are against each other but ha are forced to work together for a common goal eventually coming together in the end, and like, finding that each other's fills each other's weaknesses or whatever, this is the reverse where they're actually competing for something and they end up in a, the exact same position, in this case, over, um, kids. And it could have been funny. The only problem is, at least in my opinion, the only way something like that can work, where two people are competing against each other for a common goal, uh, is if both characters are likable in their own way. And sadly, Will Ferrell is a clueless asshole in this film, and Mark Wahlberg is a murderer. So, at the end, I just didn't want either of them to win. <laughs> I didn't want either of them to succeed in anything. I thought they deserved every bad thing that happened to them. And, yeah, and... You might be, some of you wondering, watching, who watched the movie might be wondering, why do I think Mark Wahlberg's a murderer? Well, the fact that, like, when Will Ferrell almost kills himself a, a few times trying to impress his kids, and Mark Wahlberg just kind of screws around like Spider-Man, well, the Amazing Spider-Man, while it's happening, yeah, that's kind of a murderer. He, especially since he could have helped him, but instead he was showing off like, hey kids, how do we resuscitate someone after he was electrocuted? And, oh, his heart stopped beating. He is legally dead. <sighs> yeah, and the, pro the problem is, is that for the most part, it's just kind of cynicism and, like, wordplay and stuff. And then it randomly inserts, like, <laughs> pieces of, of cartoon violence. And I'm not talking slapstick, I'm talking cartoon because he drives a motorcycle into the house and it somehow comes out the, the, top, the top story window in a couple seconds. Or he's skateboarding up a ramp and he flies too high, hits the electrical wires, and immediately gets electrocuted. Which is impossible, but... Yeah. <laughs> That's this film, just... And I'm... And not to make it sound, like, awful, it does have a few funny moments in it, especially towards the end. At the, the ending is actually kind of heartwarming, but I don't think it makes up for the rest of the movie, which is, which is just shallow and cold and empty and not very fun. So, yeah, that's my overall diagnosis, I suppose. I guess if I really compared this to anything, it would be that, um, another Will Ferrell movie I reviewed, um, the, uh, what, what was it called, like, um, I think it was called The Candidate or something? It's that one where he's competing with that other dude to win an election. Pro the, the difference is, as I mentioned, both of those characters are actually likable in their own way, and 
their competition is funnier because of it, even though that one also has some cartoony violence, but it's more easily forgiven because, you know, <laughs> you're, you're rooting for two different people and stuff. So, yeah, that's my, that's my whole spiel on that. Can't say I recommend it too highly. I'd say, it's, especially since Sisters is still in theater, you should probably see that instead. But, uh, I don't know, I, it's not even, it's not the best Mark Wahlberg or Will Ferrell have to offer. I'm not a big fan of Mark Wahlberg, but he, even he's done better. So I'd say probably give it a pass. And until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching A Dyer Situation.